The generative fill function recently released by Photoshop serves not only to expand images but also to include objects in a photo or remove them. But if you think this function only exists in Photoshop, I say no. And today, you will learn how to use it in Leonardo AI for free. With your Leonardo AI open it, click here on AI Canvas. This will be the tool that we are gonna use today. Here we are at the canvas. I'm gonna import an image that I downloaded on Paxos. Go in here and click on Upload from a computer. Let's grab here on Downloads. Here it is my image. You can see this image is really big so I'm gonna click here to zoom out. So basically what you're gonna do now is you're gonna click here on the select function and you're gonna click here on this square and you're gonna drag it to where you want to generate more image so i want to generate more image here you can't do it like that you have to include some of the original image to leonardo ai recognize this part and fill in the rest of it so i'm gonna do it like this so what you're gonna do now is go here at prompt and i'm gonna type same background Type in that and click in here on generate, you generate a continuation of this background. So I don't want to make many times because the image is too big. So I'll have to make one here, another here, another here, etc. I don't want to do this. So I'm gonna decrease even more the size of my image. And I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to decrease a little more. That's good. That's good. So you can see now that I can select all the trees area. So before you generate in it, you can change the fine tuned model. So you can use different AI to make the generative fill effect. I'm going to use table diffusion 2.1 and I'm going to click here on generate. Now we have to wait. So here it is. I have four results. I didn't like the first, so I'm going to click here. This is a little bit more good. No, no, I didn't like any of it, so I'm going to cancel. And I'm going to change my fine tuning model to stable diffusion 1.5. So I'm going to try again and let's see what happens. This is really more good. Let's see, no. Oh, yeah, I like that. I like that. But let's see. No, I like this one better. So I will use it. Now I have this generative fill effect here on my image and I'm going to drag it down so here below so I'll maintain the same background prompt and I'm going to click here on generate and see how it will look. This is more good. Let's see. No. 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 I'm gonna use one. So here it is. I have my generated fill image. So I can download it, click in here on download artwork and now I have my artwork here on my PC. If the content helped you, please consider subscribing to the channel to follow our content and leaving a like on the video. If you had any doubt or want to make a suggestion or a compliment, please comment below. Bye!